Hey guys, this is Kyle. Today I have another pickup for you. With me today I have the Unbranded Brands UB401 Tight Fit 14.5 ounce raw salvage denim. Now, as a backstory, I did pick these up from BlueOwl.us and I spoke with Jay the entire time I was making the transaction. He was very polite and courteous with regard to my emails with him. We did exchange correspondence back and forth and I asked him what brand should I go for and the actual fit with regard to the other pairs of denim that I've had over the years and he helped me decide that this was actually the, uh, the perfect fit for me and upon receiving them, that was actually 100% correct. So big shout out to Jay over there. Thank you for the help, man. I really appreciate what you do. <laughs> Jumping right in, um, I wanna talk about the brand real quick and then I'll, I'll get into the actual denim that I have right here. As you can see, it's the unbranded brand. No branding on the leather patch, just straight up leather. No uh, stitching on the back pocket to tell you what denim it is. Absolutely nothing at all. No frills or gimmicks, just good copper hardware. Um, no branding right there. Really, the only branding that you're gonna get is right here. As you can see, it'll say UB401 tight in a size 28 with 14 and a half ounce sewage denim. That's exactly um, the only thing that you're gonna get in terms of branding. And let's be honest, no one is gonna see that because they're actually on the inside of your, uh, your denim. Um, the unbranded brand, they strive on a couple of things. They do uh, no branding, no washes, no embroidery, no ad campaigns, and no celebrity endorsements. So essentially, they've they've uh, boiled it down to the the uh, core essentials. Um, you essentially have a great fit, solid construction, and raw salvage denim, which is what I think anyone should just be paying for. In terms of, I mean, let's just call a spade a spade. This is just cotton. So. Um, I know other brands out there, you're going to be paying anywhere from $200 to $250, maybe even $300 for, um, well, a pair of cotton. And um, let's be real here, you can't really do too much R&D with regard to cotton unless you're naked and famous. That's doing, uh, what is it, glow in the dark and uh, rainbow weft for denim. I think that's pretty crazy. But uh, even then, that's, that's not even hitting the $200, or actually the $250 or $300 price points, I think. But, uh, but with those other brands, you're not really paying just for the great quality. I assume that it's gonna be really great and I have no doubt that it will be. However, once you hit that price point, let's be real, you're paying for the brand, not really the, uh, the quality of the denim. So, you know, there's a little bit of give and take here. However, with the unbranded brand itself, like I said, no washes, no branding, no campaigns or anything like that, just a great fit, solid construction, and raw denim. And that's exactly what I got here. Um, these I purchased for 92 bucks, 92 bucks shipped on, uh, on BlueIsle.us. So I think it's like 82 originally, but then there's like a $10 shipping fee for orders under $100 or 150 over there. Can't really be too sure. However, you can snag free shipping, $82 for quality salvage denim, and you're set if you're um, a beginner that's just getting into the, uh, the world of raw denim. So that's my little uh, my little take and little overview of the actual brand. With regard to the actual fit itself, um, like I said earlier, this is 14 and a half ounces, and I got these hemmed through their free hemming services. Now, uh, for reference, I usually wear a Levi's 511, which is their slim fit, and the Levi's 510, which is their skinny fit for beaters. And I'd say that this more closely resembles the uh, the 511 in terms of the actual taper than the 5, or I'm sorry, the 510s in terms of the actual taper instead of the 511s. Now these are tight fit, so there's a really aggressive taper from the knee down. Um, I think the knee is actually, for size 28 at least, I think it's somewhere in the 7, seven inches I believe, and then the actual leg opening is, uh, I want to say, 6 and a quarter, so it's really, really aggressive from the, uh, the knee down the taper, which is really good. That's what I went for. That way I can just cuff it and it'll look nice and it'll still stack. Now I talked about getting a free hemming service earlier. I wanna just touch on that real quickly. If you purchase your denim from Blue Isle, you get a free hemming service. However, if you send your denim in, you have to actually pay them, I believe $25 for uh, their chain stitching hemming service, which I think is not that bad at all. Um, the unbranded brands, uh, UB401s, as well as all their other brands and all their other fits, I think, um, have a default inseam of 34 inches, and I had these hemmed down to 31 inches on the inseam. 
Now for reference, I'm 5'9", 145 pounds, pretty, uh, pretty slim athletic build, and these fit me perfectly. So just a really quick reference for you guys. Um, the tag says size 28, however it's, um, it's vanity sizing, so it's actually 29 on the waist. But after a couple wears, I've been wearing these around the house for a couple hours every now and then. After a couple wears, I think it's actually stretched out a lot. So now it's more in the uh, 29 and a half to 30 inches on the inseam. So if you're anything like me, 5'9", 145, um, slim athletic, and you have a uh, about a 29 inch waist, um, I would definitely recommend getting the, uh, the UB401s. Now for reference, back going back to the Levi sizing, I'm a 2932 over there, and these are the size 28, and these are perfect. So if you're like me, just go ahead and snag these bad boys up and they will fit you perfectly. But if you want to get them hemmed to a 31 inch uh, inseam, then feel free to do that as well. So uh, yeah, uh, essentially you have great denim, great construction, great price. There's really nothing I can harp on about these in terms of uh, negativity. These are pretty bang on in terms of you get what you pay for. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope the video was actually informative for you guys. I'm going to be doing a, um, a full on review once I have actually been wearing these and I get some fades. And uh, that's going to be coming up in the uh, in a few months here. It's the end of summer right now. So once fall kicks in and uh, inevitably winter, I'm going to be breaking these bad boys out and uh, I will get a full-on review with fits for you guys. So thank you for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.